Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. In today's video, we are going to be showing you how to test water quickly and easily. There is a new liquid test kit on the market and that's made by Fritz. They are a channel sponsor. We absolutely love them and couldn't wait for this one to come out. By the way, if you're looking for this thing, check out the Amazon affiliate link down in the description below. But we're gonna show you how to use this thing show you what it looks like. It's a lot easier to use than some of the other products on the market. Thanks for being here. All right, so first thing is first, this box, the packaging, it's a lot easier to use than other water test kits on the market. And that is you open up the box. You can see everything here is nice, neat, well organized. There are instruction packets for each one of the tests. This Fritz water test kit is going to allow you to test for nitrate, nitrite it's going to give you ph and it's a wide range ph so you only need one set of reagents unlike some of the other water test kits where you have to have two depending on whether or not you have a low ph or a high ph and then when it falls in the middle you end up having to do it twice that's can be that can be kind of annoying so this one has got a wide range ph that's going to go all the way from five to nine which is pretty awesome and then we've got ammonia nitrate and nitrite and the test booklets here for each one easy instructions i'm going to show you that in a second really easy to do so i like that now if you want the water hardness test kits like other test kits on the market that is a separate thing i'll put that down in the description for you as well but that does not come with this water test kit it's taking care of all the nitrogen and of course the ph and that's really for the most part a lot of what you're going to be testing anyway all right, so once again, inside the box, here you've got it. You've got your water test kit reagents and you have your tubes. There are four of them. These things, again, easy to remove from the box. The test tube kit, I like this. It just comes with a, a foam insert. So it's gonna stand right there, right on top of your aquarium, just like that, or on a desk or whatever. And then your bottle's gonna be easy to read. Your directions, the number of drops you need are actually on the bottles themselves, which is pretty nice. And so that makes things a little bit convenient. By the way, when you're doing this kind of stuff, it is advisable to wear eye protection and gloves. You really don't want this stuff on your skin. You definitely don't want to get this stuff in your eyes. But if you've got some type of, of gloves and eye protection, safety glasses, highly recommended go ahead and do that. All right, so I did want to show you, we're going to go over step by step each one, but I did want to show you how easy the directions are. And I don't, I don't think the camera's going to necessarily pick that up completely, but you can see here, nice, clean directions, color pictures, really easy. You can just match up your colors here to the, uh, to the table. I'm gonna do that in a minute. But you can see here all of the directions, super clear, super easy to use. And that was one of the frustrations I think that a lot of people have when they're using some of the other water test kits that are liquid test kits. Oh my gosh, you unfold those directions and the print is about as small as you can make it, really hard to read. This, not so much, it just makes life a little bit easier. So this is the way they are outlined for all four tests. Again, easy to read, nice color pictures. Now let's go ahead, let's go ahead and do these tests and see what we get. All right, it doesn't matter which test you are running, whether it is pH, ammonia, nitrate, or nitrite. You're gonna fill each one of these tubes up to the line here. There's a couple different ways you can do this. If you've got a plastic pipette and you wanna suck the water out of the tank and squirt it into here, you can certainly do that. I know a lot of us find enjoyment when we can dip that tube in the tank and get pretty much our five mLs right up to this white line on the first try. I'm not claiming I'm gonna be able to do that, but let's go ahead, we just dip the tube in, we fill it until we get to the white line. So it took me three tries. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do that for all four of the tubes and then we'll run the tests. All right, so the first test I'm gonna run, I'm gonna do the wide range pH. Again, this is gonna test for a pH of anywhere from five to nine. I'm gonna give this bottle just a couple shakes here and we'll go ahead and use the tube that is on the far left to do our pH change, our pH test. It says, the directions say to add three drops. And so we're gonna do that. One, two, three. We'll go ahead and cap this bottle again. I am uh, someone who is used to working in a lab. So in terms of getting these reagents on me, I am used to working with these types of reagents. So please, if you're not, especially wear gloves, wear eye protection. So then it says vigorous, vigorously shake for a few seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Remember, I do this with the cap on anyway. So this is not gonna come into contact with my hands. Never, ever, ever put any kind of reagents, dropping them above eye or at eye level. So I go ahead, I shake that thing. I shook that thing. And so we're gonna go ahead and test this now. Again, we've got our, our paper here. 
And the directions say to measure it against a white background on the side. And this thing right now has got us right at about a pH of seven. So let me go ahead and show you that. It says to read the directions immediately. So here we go. So yeah, right around a pH of seven or so. And that's what we have here. We'll go ahead and put this away and we'll go ahead and do the ammonia test next. Hopefully for the ammonia and the nitrite, I'm getting zero because this tank has been up and running for a long time. All right, now for ammonia, again, pretty simple. You've got the two bottles. They tell you on the bottles, add eight drops of each. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop eight drops of each into our test tube number two over here. Then it says to shake for a couple seconds. Now this one, you do have to wait five minutes. So it takes a little bit of patience with this. So we're gonna go ahead and shake these bottles just a little bit, not a lot. So again, keeping this stuff BI well below eye level. It is fully capped. Now we're gonna go ahead and take bottle number one and we will go ahead and add that to test tube over here, number two. And so we're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's eight there. Set that aside. Give bottle number two a quick shake. Gotta kinda press down the caps to get those things loose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll go ahead and set that aside. We'll grab a cap, cap it. Now this thing, again, we gotta wait five minutes. So I'm actually gonna set this back over here, and let that do its thing. And this is a fully cycled tank, so I don't anticipate having any issues here. We should be reading no ammonia. All right, so yeah, while we're waiting, I grab my bottle of nitrite test solution. Again, the directions say, go ahead and just, I'm gonna give this a little shake. Uh, and now we're gonna add that to the second tube, the tube in the middle. It says to add five drops, and so that's what we will do. One, two, three, four, five. We'll set that aside. I'm gonna go ahead and cap it because the directions do say to shake gently for just a few seconds. And so just to mix the solution, that will go there. And then the last one we have to do is the nitrate test. All right, so now we're gonna be doing the nitrate test. We've got our two bottles here. Here, this test requires a little bit more shaking. Now for the first bottle, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix the contents within the bottle here real quick. And then I am going to add 10 drops of bottle number one, reagent number one to our tube. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We're gonna go ahead and cap that, leave it alone. Now we do have to mix this so I'm gonna go ahead and cap this thing. I'm going to mix the contents of this tube. Move the cap, because I got more to add. And then we have nitrate bottle number two. Now this one, it does say to shake vigorously. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that for about 30 seconds to a minute or so. Let's go ahead and add 10 more drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The directions here also say, cap it, and we're gonna shake, mix this, these contents for about 30 seconds to a minute or so. So we're gonna go ahead and set that aside because that's gonna take a few minutes to develop, and then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the results. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and take a look at the ammonia test first. And again, I love this little booklet. Super easy directions, super easy color. Uh, chart to match up. It's got both fresh and salt water. So if I didn't mention that at the beginning, this test kit can run both of them. The fresh water is over, or I'm sorry, the fresh water is over here on the right hand side. And so we match it up. And just like we would expect, we should not be seeing any ammonia. It should be yellow and that's what it is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set this over here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our nitrite because it has been more than enough time. And let me get the nitrite booklet. Here it is. So nitrite, once again, uh, this is for both fresh and salt water and the nitrite test should be reading zero because this is a cycled tank. And you can see here, once again, super easy to read, right? We've got a really nice color chart. A lot of people, they get somewhat stressed out because they don't know exactly, okay, is my test, is it a lighter purple? Is it a mid purple? Again, it's a gradient. And so something like the nitrite test, if my tube had some purple in it, guess what? I know I've got a problem. 
right? I know that there's nitrite in the tank. I know that my tank isn't fully cycled and I'm going to take steps to ensure that I can reduce nitrite. By the way, if you're having an ammonia problem or a nitrite problem or pH issues, check out the videos I have linked in the description below because I talk about how to lower ammonia, how to lower nitrite, and how to deal with changes in pH. So if it's some type of purple, you know you've got some kind of an issue, whether or not it is half a part, one part, 1 1.5, you know you have to deal with something. And so I don't get overly stressed or I don't worry too much about the exact color and trying to match it up exactly. It's a gradient, that's what I care about, and that is the main part. Okay. So I, it has been about five minutes since I did the nitrate test, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look. Now we just did a pretty sizable water change on this aquarium, plus it's not super heavily stocked, and we've got a ton of plants in here, and that's the idea behind doing all of this. We're gonna go ahead and match this up, and so this is looking fairly yellowish, and that is pretty much indicating that we've got next to no nitrate, nitrate in here. Now what does that tell me? If I've got next to no nitrate in this tank, Lots of plants, like I said, very little algae growth too, because again, I think there's a lot of competition for the nutrients and it's not, like I said, it's not heavily stocked. We're not overly feeding this aquarium. And so if you are somebody who is keeping plants, what this result would tell me is, you know, maybe I need to add a little bit of liquid fertilizer uh, because when we're down here in that zero to maybe five parts per million range, that's pretty low. Now, again, we just did a water change on this tank about a day and a half ago, and it was about a 50% water change. So what I would do is I would test this again the day before or the day right the day of a water change, but right before, and see how far down I am on this nitrate scale. Because ultimately for us, our goal is to be around 20 parts per million or less. And so this is exactly where I'd want to be right after doing a water change. And that zero to five parts per million, maybe, that's actually maybe a little bit low. I wouldn't mind maybe backing off the water changes here. And so I don't do the water changes on these tanks. My boys do them. And so what I'll probably tell them is, hey, listen, if you've been doing 30 to 50%, let's back off. Let's only do 25%. One, because we're wasting water. Two, because I do want some nitrate in the aquarium to get these plants to grow well. And so as long as we're not going too far above the 20 parts per million right before a water change, we can back off. And that's how we deal with our water changes. If you want to learn more about that, again, I'll have a, a video in the description for you there as well. So bottom line is if you are considering a water test kit, and all of you should be because it is one of the things, especially if you've got something going wrong with your aquariums, if you have a change, fish are maybe not making it or they're starting to die off. If you have a new aquarium, it can be especially important there. People ask all the time, how often do I test water? And the truth is I don't test the water in these aquariums very often once they are settled in. Once the stocking levels are consistent, once the amount of food that we're putting in is relatively consistent, I might test them once every few months just to make sure that the water change schedule that we're doing is appropriate. And like we just found out here, maybe I can back off a little bit on this aquarium and maybe we'll take a look at the rest of them in the gallery later on and see where we're at. So again, if you're looking for a simple liquid test kit, and I know that test strips can be a little bit easier and I don't mind those, the liquid test kits tend to be a little bit more reliable. Yes, it takes a little bit more to use them. You're gonna be spending five minutes doing the water test kit on your aquarium, but it's probably gonna be a little bit better for you. Again, if you're interested in these, check out the link down in the description below. Thank you so much for being here and we'll see you in the next one.